It's the deal, YouTube. Got another uh, review today. It's going to be on the Grog Cutter 08. A lot of people say this is like the Smashville Slugger, but I don't know. This is a lot better than the Smashville Slugger. First off, so you open it up. <sighs> Has that nice grog smell to it, you know. It's got chisel tip, which is pretty nice. Gets really juiced if you pump it, which is really nice. It says it's paint, but it comes out like ink, so it's pretty thin paint, I'd have to say. Comes with a mixer ball, you know. Yeah, so I'm going to test it on three different surfaces today. I got paper, got metal, and I got wood. So here we go. Not going to write anything fancy, just my name, plain letters, okay? And yeah, here we go, Grog Cutter 08. That was decent. I didn't really expect it to do that well on paper, but hey, did it. It's okay. You know, I wouldn't recommend it for paper. I'd recommend it for other surfaces that we will see in this video. So, just hold up for a minute. Let me grab this big board. Okay, hold, get focus. Sweet. Okay, nothing fancy, just my name is Wood. <laughs> Worked pretty good on Wood. That would be pretty good on Wood, actually. Now, uh... Last surface today is metal. So, let's get this done. Remember, nothing fancy, just showing you the marker. This marker performs extremely, extremely well on metal. Recommend it for the use of on metal I recommend it rather really nice and shiny really smooth flowing paint or ink or whatever the hell it is but overall I give this marker a great review pick it up at bombing science oink art primo anywhere has it because they're so good so that was my review on the grog cutter Oh wait, should go pick it up. It's a good marker.